What's going on, Catterman and Catterwomen? Welcome back to the show. What's going on, Catterman and Catterwomen? Holy crap, bro! That's a big one. That's a big one. What the? Yeah, not exactly a catfishing adventure if you can't already recognize that sound over there. That's the Atlantic Ocean for you. We're just starting off a nice evening today. Gonna get some shark baits together and then hopefully we're gonna put some more together. And yeah, we're gonna just throw out some, uh, some squid chunks right now just to get our hands on some bait. Literally, that's all I'm here for. And if you guys are gonna start noticing a little limp in my leg, well, yeah, I definitely have one. I severely sprained my left ankle last week. Shark season 2019 starting right here, right now. All right, get close to that rod. I'll be fine over here. Woo! Woo! Oh, ow! Ah! Well, yeah, there you go. So that's what happened. Basically, I was sharking out a bait. I didn't realize that the waves at the spot were uh, slow to build up, but hard to drop. Like over here, you have a lot of waves coming. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a, it's a gentle drop. The spot where we were at, well, it wasn't exactly like that. So that wave grabbed that kayak, flipped it around, and literally took me out and took my feet out and literally went right there into my foot over there right where all the tendons are and just wreaked havoc so it was a it was a fun time you know definitely sucked it still sucks it hurts a lot i gotta do what i gotta do for you guys so anyways just a simple bottom rig with six odd gamakatsu circle hooks just gonna put out some pyramid sinkers like six odd ones like i said with chunks of squid we should be good to go using pretty light line I got one little tiny seven foot six combo, got another nine foot combo. But uh, yeah, this spot is like one of my favorite spots to catch bait. Just because there's a lot of rocks here. It's a lot of skate and dogfish here, which is exactly what we're after. And uh, here's the thing, skate and dogfish, they're not the best baits. They're not the best baits because they're not as good as bonita or Spanish mackerel or bluefish. But you know what the wise thing is about these baits and why I like them? I get a bigger chance at a good sized fish because I get to soak them longer because the crabs don't peel them apart as quick. That's my number one priority when I'm sharking. I don't want to make so many kayak trips out. That's exactly what happens with bunker and bluefish. The crabs love that stuff and you can't keep it out in the water very long until there's nothing left on the end of your hook. Oh man, so uh, this, this cooler's too good. It actually it kept this squid still completely frozen and it's been in here for like six hours. So we're gonna have to work with some, uh, yeah, some, some very, very frozen squid, which is fine. I like to just use that head and chop off a nice body chunk. And shout out to Mustad for making a pretty sweet bait knife. But yeah, in case you guys are curious about this cooler right here, I'm gonna put a link down below so you can actually see what it's like, how much it costs. Right underneath the eye over there. Twist it a little bit to the side. Boom. Also, a quick thing I wanna let you guys know about. When we catch these doggies, I'm not gonna keep female dogfish. I'm only keeping males, and I'm gonna show you how to sex them. Let's cast the first bait out of the evening. Let's enjoy this nice sound of the ocean. Let's just catch some bait and then let's head further down south with a big predatory toothy fish hangout. There we go. <laughs> I had the other casking Sharky 3 bait feeder blow up on me last time. It was pretty bad. Thing literally just blew up on me. The whole top of the spool came off. The whole spool arm too just popped out of the rail. 
on a little three pound sandbar shark. Literally like a little brown shark, a baby one. Just destroyed that reel. So here we got the trusty old Rover. It's getting a little, a little churny inside of it, I gotta admit. So hopefully we'll hook into some skate, hopefully we'll hook into some, uh, you know, dogfish, but anything that bites is a, is a good fish, you know what I mean? So we'll see what's out here. Oh, and before we get started, was that already a fish? Oh, whoa, guys, we got something big on here. Holy crap, this whole rod just doubled on over. What the heck is this? Whatever the heck it is, literally just bent this entire rod in half. That's definitely a skate. Which is good, that's exactly what we need. Let's drag it up. Yep, it's a skate. And that's exactly what we needed, guys. That's a nice skate right there. Now, I learned a long time ago that if you want to keep a skate, keep your fingers away from its mouth because that mouth on it will literally annihilate your hand. So we'll humanely dispose of the skate. There we go. Perfect hook set on that skate too. They're covered in spines, so you wanna make sure that uh, yeah, you don't get nailed by any of these spines. I think we got another fish on the other rod, so that's good. We're gonna probably need anywhere from like, let's see, three to four skate should be perfect. That's why I like this spot, see? It's that quick and easy. We lost whatever was on that. Hey yo, shout out to Monterey, California. Sea wave calamari. And we got people playing dubstep in the background. We got people hanging out on the beaches here. We got nice smells in the air of food. So, hey, listen, summer is here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm loving it. All right, here we go, guys. Look at that. Yeah, it's a skate for sure. There we go. Skate, skate are staying close to the structure tonight. It's number two. That's a bigger one too. Look at that one. Woo! Nice. Definitely appreciate the universe for giving us some fresh bait like this, huh? Yeah, buddy, I appreciate your life. All right, there we go. I think we got a dogfish over here. Yeah, they like to hang out further out in the surf. We definitely have one here. Feels nicer too. Giant dogfish. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we're going to do the first sex reveal uh, of a dogfish. That is a male dogfish because it has these extra little appendages here called claspers down here. So as much as I would usually keep a dogfish this size, I don't, I don't really need a guy like this small. You know what? Let's just let him go. Let him tell him, hey, buddy, bring your big boys. Right? Let's get some of this salty water over here, eh? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes. I love Chicken Express. Two wings and a breast. I love Chicken Express. If you don't know where that's from, that's cool. I got a nice bite over here. I don't know what it's, what it is, but... Oh, yeah. Running, running in the surf. It's hunkering down a lot. All right, what is this? What the heck? Could be a bluefish too, who knows? Oh no, it's a nicer dogfish. Look at that. That actually could be a spiny. Is it? No, that's just a really nice size. And it's a male. Is it? Yes. It's a male. Actually, it's a female, which sucks, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. At least we got a nicer one. That's a good sign that there's bigger ones out here. While we wait for one of these rods to go off, I gotta tell you what, I love these roto molded coolers. They are so sturdy, so comfortable. Like I'm about 200, like five pounds, 210 pounds, about 230 on a good day. And uh, yeah, we're just straight chilling over here, man. I love it. Yeah, we got a bite for sure right there. I saw that. Yeah, what do we got here? Definitely hook up to something. Whenever you see your line go loose, or really limp, you definitely have a fish, hands down. 
I think this is a nice skate we got over here or a really nice dogfish. Whatever it is, it's skating across the waves towards us like a little surfboarder. <laughs> All right, what are you? Wait, what the? Oh, another doggy. Another doggy dogfish. Another female. Yeah, so uh, I was going to tell you guys, so I don't keep females because females, you know, they reproduce. One female can only carry so many little young. But like one male can populate so many females. So I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me to keep females for most species. You know, the reason why most species, the females are protected, you know, if it's like a valuable game species. All right, guys, I think we got another skate on over here. Hopefully, I don't know. There's something on here. We're sitting on it the entire time, I think. That's a little doggy, just like I thought. <laughs> Thanks. All right, let's see. Is this a male or another female? I seem to catch only females, huh? Just when I want only males. All right, guys, we got something bigger here with plenty of head shakes. Or either it's bigger or it's just a very, uh, I don't know, I guess you could say knotted up or tangled up fish. That's a nicer dogfish. All right, cool. Let's see. Is this dogfish a male or a female, huh? Uh, I don't see claspers. Gosh darn it. You guys, why? Why? I don't know why. Why you do this to me, eh? Pendejo. All right, there we go. Yeah, we definitely got it. We got something on over here. That's for sure. Definitely a small dogfish running straight at us. Ah, a little bit nicer one. Yeah, it's definitely a nicer one. So what, they tail whip you? It's a male, finally. They tail whip you? It can really hurt, it can leave a mark on you. So we're gonna take this guy out, humanely, like and quickly. Whew. All right, oh, there we go. That looks like a nicer fish over there, I just struck. Damn, whatever that was I just struck with, that struck hard as heck. The whole rod just bent in half. All right, let's see what's on here, Hoy. Could be a bluefish too. The other night I was here, I hooked into a nice bluefish on a chunk of squid. The only reason why I got him in is because I had a fluorocarbon leader. I only really run fluorocarbon nowadays just because one, uh, I don't want to lose a lot of rigs and two just because it gives me a better chance not to get broken off by whatever I get into like the other day when we hooked into a freaking uh, little that little brown shark that fluorocarbon leader held up perfect now usually the males travel in groups it's another male excellent thank you so much buddy I really appreciate you you're giving your life to this cause. Is that a skate? Yep. Floppity flap flaps. Yep. There's the wings. There's the wingies. You know, skate actually tastes really good. Someone told me that, and I see this online TV show, like showing them being eaten as like scallops almost. I think we should have plenty of shark bait now, even for one and a half whole days of fishing. Oh yeah. Whew. The cooler is full of bait now. It's more than enough. I don't want anything more in here. Now it's just going to be clogged up. Whatever the heck this is, it's actually putting up quite a nice fight. Could be a very large skate.
Oh, it's a big skate. Woo! That's a mama papa skate right there. You're the lucky one too. You're going back in today. Woo! All right, bud. Oh man, you bleeding? Ah, I see. He'll they'll try to bite you too. See, he's trying to bite too. See? Look at that. He's gonna try to bite. Now we're going to turn them around real quick. Hook them in the bottom jaw right there. Slide right along down there. And there he goes. Back into the wash. All right, we got all the bait we need. Let's head back to the car and let's get down to the southeast point of New Jersey.